This is the very special card that holds the gender of the baby so we're going to give it to logan he's going to look at it and then pick which confetti popper is correct then put a little black dot on it so that we can't see what color he ended up choosing and then we're going to pop the confetti later on tj is helping us with the pink and blue drinks that are going to be team girl pink lemonade and then this is going to be blue kool-aid for a boy right mm -hmm. with your team girl mm -hmm. okay you're drinking this one. Well, it did rain. That is my aunt's farm where we're supposed to have it, but luckily the church next door let us have it here. So we're not gonna let it rain on my parade. We're gonna keep partying. Here's the food that we're serving. We're trying to keep it kind of like light bites because it is before dinner. So we have a veggie tray, fruit and cheese tray. And then over here, we did get Chick-fil-A catering. We got these Cool Ranch wraps and then chicken nuggets, which are my absolute favorite. Ryan and I love the chicken nuggets from Chick-fil-A. And then I wrote these little cards out that said, what will our nugget be which i thought was just like a cute little thing to have just to make it a little gender specific and then we got all of the condiments and ryan's mom found these really cute napkins that we just put out as well so that's it for the food but then we have a full dessert bar which is very on brand for me here is the dessert table it turned out so cute we made all of these desserts last night i particularly think these are absolutely adorable and then we did get this cake made so girl or boy and then has this cute little baby on the side even though ryan thinks it's super creepy looking i don't i think it's adorable and then over here we have little cupcakes that have little question marks and then we have drinks down there i just think everything turned out so cute over in this section we have a little activity where you can tally what you think it's a boy or a girl some polaroids of course to capture all these moments and then we made this together to surprise our parents with so i just kind of threw it up there for decor today's our gender reveal and we're so excited what do you think it's gonna be i think the boy i'm i'm agreeing with that i think it's a boy too so that's why we're blue he were half and half half because he just thought it was very festive and i love it so i mean i was really uncertain up until recently beginning i thought it was a boy middle wasn't quite sure could have gone girl but now team boy let's see i got my platter of food and i need to remind myself to eat because it's fun to mingle but i gotta feed this baby so i had a vision to have one of these balloon garland arches and i decided to order these off of etsy they turned out so good we ended up putting this together earlier today and then ryan's uncle made this arch platform which turned out amazing i just bought these little boxes like baby blocks from amazon i'll try to link everything down below but i think they turned out really cute and so we're gonna pop the confetti on this platform and take some pictures of course So glad that I brought the Polaroid camera because these turned out so cute. My dad was so happy that it's a boy. Mom and dad are gonna be oh, so yeah. We're so excited. We had such a nice day with all of our friends and family. We are very tired. I'm trying to get sleepy, but we're so grateful. That was so fun. Good, good call on the poppers. I'm I'm proud of myself. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it, and then Ryan would have popped it without me, but we did it. All right, well, thank you for tuning in to our gender reveal. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for joining along the ride. Bye.